Hello guys and welcome to the 2020 Minecraft Military Force Modern Warfare Contest where you can build anything from Modern Warfare from post-World War II in Minecraft on our Discord. And we're going to take a look at all the entries from the order of submission. Alright, so first off we have Jay. He submitted the F-14D VF-31 Felix bandwagon as it prepares to take off the USS Theodore Roosevelt. It would be really cool if he actually built like the aircraft carrier around it. And next by Captain Slav 1, we have an M60A3 Patton ambushing a T72 in a German forest in 1 to 1 scale. It's very dark so it's kind of hard to see but you can see it's firing with the glowstone for effect. And next by Ice Bear, this is the M113 APC and it's surrounded by fire. I'm not sure what's exactly going on there. And here by Leung, this is the Little Beach Landing Exercise. It's in a small scale, and there is an assault ship with some AAV-7s, I presume, some kind of amphibious assault vehicles um, assaulting this little beachhead, as well as a Sea Knight helicopter dropping off some cargo. Then this is by Burp. This is the F-22 Raptor. Well, I think he does need to work on this a little more, though. The next by Frinks, this is the US M1117 parked in Afghanistan desert, setting up a camp for the night. Then by Scorch, this is a Royal Navy Type 26 frigate. So it also does have an interior of this, but it is outside of water. I, sh I think if you're taking a picture of this, you should at least put in the water. The next by Cod B02 RGM2, this is his redesigned version of the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird used in the Cold War and it's apparently his favorite Cold War aircraft. Then from Anyo, this is the ISIS ambush an American convoy. There is appears to be a Apache attack helicopter along with some ground vehicles attacking ISIS. And next up by Cyclosis, this is various Soviet tanks at a checkpoint. T-55, T-72, and T-84. And it says by Cyclosis and MCDD101. I think if you're taking pictures for the contest, make sure you're making the FOV uh, smaller so it's not like super wide looking and stretched out so you can see the whole thing clearer. And next up by Plasmatic Static, this is an Apache which fights off a pair of T90s trying to seize a den that provides the only road passage over an icy lake. I think this came out pretty nice. I like the terrain and the dam. It also reminds me a lot of like a Call of Duty mission probably. The next up by Nursik the Builder. This is his United Nations Interim Forces in Lebanon and Lebanese Armed Forces conducting joint tank training. So he has a bunch of vehicles everywhere. Although I think he does need to make this a little more cleaner and more organized. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on, but you can see there's a lot of vehicles. And then by Cooper Lag 71, this is the Humvee and JLTV convoy through town. I'm guessing somewhere in like Afghanistan or Iraq. And there is one of the technical trucks, maybe they're waiting for an ambush. Then here by Mr. X, this is his Japanese Self Defense Force Expo. So I guess it's like an event for the public to watch the military do exercises. So you can see they're firing targets. And there is a lot of vehicles lined up. So this is Charlie Don't Surf by Not Damien, so it's a reference to the Vietnam War. Got a couple of helicopters, the AH-1 Cobra and the Bell UH-1 Iroquois, uh, just patrolling, going down this little stream. I do like the scenery and the terrain a lot. And here by CSANI0418, uh, this is two F-100Ds. Uh, first one shoot a Sidewinder and the other break the sound barrier. And here by Henry Trung, this is a crashed F-104 and it's a little diorama, although I think he could have done a little more better things with it to make it more realistic. Sort of is still in one piece and it's very linear. I think he could have done a lot better with this for sure, but it's a nice plane. And here by Sandro25, this is M60 Patton in Vietnam. It's a very small diorama. And then by Viper D, this is his Snowy Camo AH-64D Longbow. And it's a TAC helicopter, just painted white, I guess. And then by T-14 Armada, this is a Soviet armored convoy as it passes a Mi-24 Hind as it crashed down. I do like that effect. And there is a lot of vehicles in this convoy. He also did make a couple of buildings on the side. 
And then by Hisok, another Russian one. This is the RT-2PM to Topol M ICBM launcher, I guess. Although I do wish Hisok, he took away the purple glass. So I'm gonna have to take points off for that. But it is a nice build. Then by SW Gurin, this is the F-16C from Nellis Air Force Base in 4 to 1 scale. Very nice design. I do like this. And next up by Defense Minister of Russia. This is the Soviet Air Force MiG-23 Flogger conducting air patrol in 1.5 to 1 scale. Just the four of these planes in a row. And here is by Dog Stop Motion. This is a M107 self-propelled gun in 2 to 1 scale. Just behind, I guess, a little wall of sand or sandbags. I don't know. And here by Repulse, this is the Baku, also known as the Admiral Gorshkov in a 1 to 1 scale Kiev class aircraft carrier or heavy aircraft cruiser in Russian classification from the Russian or Soviet Navy. These are some very nice renders. You can see there's a lot of detail in this build and the sticks are pretty nice. I think he would get like bonus points if he made it into like a diorama or like added some aircraft on it. That would be pretty nice. And then from Omega-58, also known as Maverick, this is the YAL-1 airborne laser on a test flight shooting down a Titan II missile from close range. It's a pretty interesting build, like it shows another side of warfare where you're using lasers. Don't really see uh, too many people build that before. And here from Smart Part Tart, this is the Japanese ship Maya, the DGG-179 Maya class guided missile destroyer. And he also has a helicopter right in the back of the ship. And here from Nuclear Potato 64, it's two F-4 Phantoms uh, napalm bombing in Vietnam. And I think this is a pretty cool uh, little diorama. I like how he built the set and also like the renders. That looks pretty good as well. And here from Alexander the Great in Macedonian, this is his Operation Rolling Thunder. It's two F-4 Phantoms. Napalm bombing and this sounds a lot like the previous entry and next up from Olaf This is his United States Air Force Thunderbird pilot executing a farewell salute to fighter wing 83 for commencing operations in Venezuela And I do like the fact that he actually made an animation using blender Which is like a step above what everyone else did so I commend him for that It's not like the best animation I've seen but I do like the fact that he included this in this contest pretty cool all right, so next up we have by Key W2. This is the M51 Super Sherman diorama. It's quite small, but has a lot of detail in this small build. Then from Wessel, this is his Vietnam War landing zone, a circa 1967, as it's attacking some kind of a village with that missile. A couple of helicopters. Then from Mustang Owen, this is an updated version of his Afghanistan village full of Taliban forces. About to get raided by American, British, and Canadian forces. And the scale of the buildings compared to the vehicles, they're very small. So I feel like something's a little off there, but the terrain looks very smooth. And last we have by Duck Boy. This is an Iraqi T-72 charges past another burnt out T-72 while under heavy fire. And it's kind of hard to see what's going on in the picture. In this shader, like the lighting is blocking out everything. So everything looks whitewashed. But yeah, that's it for all of our entries. Thanks to everyone who submitted their entry. And now we're going to go on to the top seven. Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile Cause in my heart it's not worthwhile It's a bloody battlefield where some go down, others heal In the end it's all the same All you can do is play the game
feet and force me down a dead end street when all I had went up in flames, burning on the dark. Room.